Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Olivia and today I have a really exciting video for you guys. I am so excited. Um, this is like probably the most fun video I've ever made. Um, I'm really hyping it up so I really hope it's good. <laughs> um, I first of all just want to apologise. Um, yes, my hair is wet. Yes, I am just out of the shower. It is like 10pm right now. I just got home from work and I really want to put this video up in the morning for you guys. Today is Friday. Um, today is Friday and I really want to be able to get this video up for you guys on Saturday morning. Um, but I have not yet filmed the intro or the outro so um, I'm doing that right now so that I can get this video up. So if you're watching this on Saturday then you know you're welcome. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm not going to go on for too long, but you've obviously seen by the title, uh, today's video is going to be upcycling or thrift flipping um, five items. Well, it's kind of four items at the start, but then I end up with five. You gotta watch to the end if you want to find out what that's about. Um, but yeah, and I'm so excited because I basically started off with, you know, four things that I haven't worn in years, like years. Um, and they're just were things that were just not my style but all things that were like really good quality um, and were like really nice materials so I just thought it was a shame to like you know obviously I wouldn't throw them out I just wouldn't just like put them in the bin because I'd give them like to a charity shop or whatever but I thought it was a shame because they were all like very usable they just weren't my style so um, yeah, and I just really have been trying very, very hard to not uh, purchase many new items of clothing. Um, like the most sustainable thing you can wear is something you already own. So I just thought this was a really fun and very sustainable way of getting some new clothes. And I'm genuinely obsessed with every single thing that came out of this video. Um, and I really hope that you guys enjoy watching it. If anyone tries any of these things or if you try any of your own thrift flips and upcycles, then please let me know. Tag me in your pictures on Instagram or, you know, DM me, send me your stuff because that would be really, really cool. Um, I also just want a quick shout out to Moya, Mawinnie and Nina Florence, who are like two of my favourite YouTubers. Um, they both did these kinds of videos and I had actually already started filming for this video but um, the second item in particular is like big credit to Moya for the idea and um, I also got like a bit of inspiration from some things I saw on Reformation and Urban Outfitters uh, for everything in this video. I am actually going to stop rambling now because this video is already pretty long um, but yeah I just wanted to say you know thank you so much if you are watching this video. Um, it really does mean a lot to me. Let's just get into the video. I really hope you enjoy it. Okay, so the first piece we're going to be upcycling is this navy jumper. I got this from a mission team that I did a couple of years ago, but I just don't really wear it. And yeah, so I'm sure you've all seen people doing the bleach tie-dye, so that's what we're gonna do to upcycle this piece. So I decided to do this in my bath, um, so I just laid out a bin liner and I mixed half of a bottle of water with half a bottle of bleach and I did it in this water bottle because I didn't have a spray bottle but if you have a spray bottle that would probably work better and then I just twisted the jumper from the middle um, as you can see me doing here and then I added elastic bands to kind of secure it in place <laughs> So the elastic bands help secure it in place but they're also good because it gives you kind of these wedge sections and um, so then I just started to uh, put the bleach mixture on every other wedge section and make sure that you turn it over and do the other side as well and then I just let it sit for about 10 minutes um, until I saw the colour change and then I stuck it in the washing machine on just a short like 15 minute cycle with a little bit of powder and then I hung it up to dry on the line and um, I don't think you're supposed to tumble dry these and then this is how it turned out I also forgot to film this but I did cut 
the bottom off of it um, just because the hem was kind of itchy and annoying. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out and it kind of is something I would actually maybe wear. And I just styled it with these white shorts from ASOS. Okay, so this next piece that we're going to be upcycling is this little top. It's kind of like a blue and white pinstripe with these flowers over it. It's off the shoulder, but it's just kind of too small for me. It's very uncomfortably tight. And I've just had it for years and barely ever worn it. So yeah, the first thing um, that I attempted to do emphasis on attempted was to kind of separate the top into all the different panels that I would need um, this kind of uh, looks like I'm just ripping it to pieces and to be honest that is kind of what I was doing but I did have a plan in my head I wasn't just kind of all gung-ho basically my plan was to have two large panels for the front and back which I made from the front and back of the top and then two smaller kind of rectangular panels uh, that would go kind of down the sides of my body and would connect the front and back panels and I was going to make those from the sleeves so I basically here I'm attempting to cut a big square out of the front of the top and a big square out of the back uh, which leaves me with the kind of weird like elastic band kind of part that was all around the top and the sleeves so then uh, the sleeves had these kind of little ties around the wrists which uh, I removed um, as I wanted to use them for the straps of the top so I removed those um, and then yeah cut the sleeves into kind of these thinner rectangular panels to use for the sides of the top I really don't think that makes sense, but I really promise it made sense in my head. <laughs> Okay, so once I had my four panels, I basically lined up the two larger panels and cut them so they were the same size as each other and I had kind of vaguely measured around my chest um, to kind of see like what measurements I needed to go and what measurements I need the top to be and then I lined up the two smaller rectangular panels along the sides of the two large panels um, and I kind of put it like inside out if that makes sense um, and kind of lined it up and pinned along where I was gonna have my hems and where the two smaller rectangular panels were going to be connecting the two big square panels. <laughs> So then I just sewed uh, the whole way down that line that I had pinned and um, I just basically used a running stitch for everything in this video by the way in case anyone is wondering um, and I used white uh, thread because for the most part the stitching is on the inside which is why I did it like this in the kind of inside out way because then you'll see in a minute but once I turn the top kind of the right way you don't actually actually see the stitching. Um, but I used white because there's white in the top anyway so I just went the whole way up that line with a running stitch and then I kind of tied it at the top and came the whole way back down the line as well just to kind of secure it as much as possible because obviously I'm not using a sewing machine and um, the stitching might not be all that robust and um, so this did take me a while but I do think it was worth going up and down 
the line because yeah it would kind of give it a bit more strength and integrity so yeah you can see here once I put it the right way around that is just kind of the line and this is me being really happy how well that went and this is me realizing I have to do it for another three hems <laughs> So I didn't film me doing the other three hems because it's just the same thing again but basically then for the final one I didn't sew a whole line down it because this was how I decided I was going to get the top on and off was to have a line of buttons along the fourth hem rather than sewing all four of them because the top wasn't like stretchy at all so there needed to be some sort of opening in order for me to get it on so I kind of went through this random little collection of buttons that I had and found I think I had eight uh, little kind of like white buttons so I just lined them up uh, like this roughly at the intervals that I wanted them to be on the top and then I used an iron here to kind of just make this hem really really neat so that it was easier to sew the buttonholes and the buttons on um, and the material wasn't kind of like falling apart and yeah it just kind of made it easier I didn't really it's kind of hard to explain but yeah and then I just uh, kind of sewed the buttons on at the intervals that I had placed them so this part is pretty much the most unprofessional thing you will ever see but I was trying to make buttonholes and without a sewing machine it turns out this is very very difficult to do so you can see I basically just kind of stuck the needle and then part of my scissors through to kind of make a hole in the hem of the material opposite from the button then I kind of like I sewed around where I'd made the buttonhole just to give it a bit more strength and to kind of stop all the hems and the like little edgy bits kind of fraying every time I put the button in and out. It is also only now that I'm realising I literally never uh, filmed a clip of me sewing in the straps but basically all I did was kind of held it up onto myself and kind of looked at where I wanted the straps to be and I just sewed them in so it's not like complicated um but yeah and I think I said before but I made the straps from the ties that were originally on the wrist parts of the top okay so I've just tried on the top and I really like it but there are definitely some issues so the main one as you can tell is these straps are way too long so but I think I can fix that I can you can see on the back it's just like and I'm really annoyed at myself because that would have been the easiest thing ever to like not mess up if I had just put this on you know I also just want to take a minute to apologize for my horrendous sunburn situation we're not talking about it um, but other than that I'm like pretty pleased I think ooh, ooh. oh I really can't decide actually I think it's cool it's I'm wearing these like really weird like canvasy flowy trousers and I think it looks kind of weird with them but maybe with jeans and um, this is like the way the buttons are so I have the buttons all down here um that's another thing actually I would definitely say the way I did the buttons is like they're so messy um and like super kind of it's just like not like it doesn't look professional but I and they kind of fall every now and then but um I don't really know how else I would have done them um other than that I think I'm pretty pleased I'm trying to think if there's a way I could do do you think I could tie that okay brb I'm gonna see if there's a way that I can cut these and like have them that I tie them at the top Okay, so I've just done what I said I was going to do. I've just cut the straps in half and tied them. They weren't long enough to tie in like proper bows, but I've got them in these just like knot things. And I think it looks really nice, especially with this bralette. I think it's lovely. Um, I'm really pleased. This is like the first thing I've properly made. I mean, I don't know why I'm saying properly because it is the first thing that I've like actually sat and like sewn and everything. 
I keep, I, this is probably so annoying because I keep like playing with this, but this is like too kind of far, like, or too kind of, it's a bit gapy. So I don't really know if I could do something about that. I mean, I could sew it in here, but I don't really know if it's like worth it because it's kind of nice that it's like just sort of comfy and um, not sure okay so it is like a good few days later again please excuse the sunburn um, and yeah I just think I needed a couple of days to like not look at this top and then come back to it with fresh eyes and kind of see how we could improve it so like I said before the main issues were this and the fact that there's like this much material just kind of chilling at the front here um, and like I did measure my chest like I said at the start so I thought this would fit but I think I measured the whole way round and then I left like a few inches for seams and I just haven't used the few inches for seams so basically I could leave it like this but it's just like a bit annoying do you know what I mean it just kind of flaps and like eh. So I've been thinking about it and I think I've seen a few tops that have like a dart uh, kind of stitch from here down to like kind of mid chest and it's like quite a flattering kind of stitch to have but I thought it would be a good way of taking out this loose material. So what I'm going to do is kind of tuck that in there and then like dart stitch down. Does that make sense? Maybe it doesn't, but like then just basically stitch like a little line down to there, um, obviously on both sides. And then I'm hoping that will like fix it. Okay, so I would definitely recommend that you pin uh, the top while it's on you. I didn't actually show me doing that, but yeah, I just put in like three pins down in a line to kind of make sure that uh, I was not taking out too much of the material but also that I was taking out enough um, and then I just sewed the dart stitch so it's basically just a straight line down and you can see the stitching um, but I think it looks nice um, because it is like really flattering like I said because it kind of cinches um, just around your chest area so yeah and I did the same thing as with the hems where I went the whole way down the line and then I went the whole way back up the line um, but I would just say with this because the stitches are visible it is a little bit more important that they are kind of neat and that they don't look too kind of messy so I was just quite careful about that but this was really easy to do so this is the finished product I'm really really happy with how this turned out and it has definitely gone from something that was too small and I never wore to something that I would definitely wear very often and I just styled it with these high-waisted mum jeans from Stradivarius so this next DIY was by far the easiest literally all you need for this is like a plain top um, and some transfer paper so I had seen uh, that top on Urban Outfitters with the sunflowers and I just love sunflowers so I thought that was really cool so I just googled uh, pictures and I said sunflower aesthetic and I picked this one so I just put it into a word document and um, it's kind of important that you flip the picture horizontally so if there's no words in the picture this isn't like absolutely necessary um but I still did it because I wanted the flowers kind of coming from the left rather than from the right so but if you definitely if you have words in the picture this is definitely necessary and um, otherwise it'll come right back to front so yeah I just printed that and then I laid out um the t-shirt and cut the picture to size and um, making sure to leave just a few millimeters around the edge to allow for any mistakes Like I said, this is so so simple. Um, I literally just went ahead and ironed on 
the picture um, I just had some transfer paper in the house but it's relatively inexpensive um, and it does last for like quite a while and um, I've had this packet of transfer paper for ages um, and I used to do these tops all the time when I was younger so I just peeled the transfer paper off following the directions on the packet it'll probably be different for different types of you know transfer paper and um, but yeah and then I just cut like a line right up the middle of the top and um, just to the point where I wanted it to be cropped and then I just kind of pulled it out so that the hems were just like not as kind of neat and perfect um, and I just tied it in a double knot and it really is that simple so here's the finished piece I just styled this with these kind of pale blue culottes um, and I think this is a really nice summer outfit so the next DIY is actually kind of a double upcycle and um, so I had this jumpsuit that I bought ages ago and I have worn it a total of once and um, so I figured we needed to do something about that and I've been seeing on Pinterest like all these really cool kind of denim trousers um, but like not jeans more like kind of denim culotte type trousers um, with like this really cool like embroidery on them so I figured I would give it a try so the basically this DIY was just cutting the top part off of the bottom part um, and I'm adding some belt loops and a design so here I'm just cutting off the kind of top of the jumpsuit um, so that I have a separate top and trousers <laughs> So obviously because this was designed to be a jumpsuit and not uh, trousers, it was really not very fitted around my waist, it just didn't fit right at all um, and there were like these really big pockets that were just really bugging me um, because they're not like usable. So basically what I did was I thought I would add some belt loops so I cut out the pockets um, and I kind of sewed up that so there wasn't like a big gaping hole and I used uh, these like hem parts of the pockets and I cut them up and sewed them on to create belt loops so I think I did a total of seven belt loops um, around the whole top of the trousers And I just sewed on each belt loop with an anchor stitch which I went over and over a good few times just because obviously it's trying to hold up a belt you know and um, it needs to be a little bit more secure so yeah I just did um, a continued anchor stitch on the top and the bottom of each belt loop So like I said, my inspiration for this was some really cool embroidered jeans that I saw on Pinterest. So um, because my embroidery skills are kind of horrendous, um, I actually bought some fabric pens and I am here, I'm just picking a design to take my inspiration from. So I first of all traced out the design um, or drew it first onto the jeans really lightly in pencil and then I went over the pencil with these fabric pens. These fabric pens were super cheap. I think they were about seven pounds total for the whole pack. And um, they, I'm yet to test this, but they apparently last in the wash and everything. So I was pretty impressed with that. Um, so I just chose this kind of nice light royal blue color and black. Um, and I just went over my pencil designs in these fabric pen colors.
and there you have it a super unique pair of really trendy trousers and I just styled them with this black crop from Bershka So the second part of this DIY was literally just tidying up uh, the hem of the top part of the jumpsuit so I just cut it round so that it was all even the whole way round and so that there were no like really messy jaggy bits and then I pulled out some little threads and um, just so that it was kind of had like a messy kind of distressed denim look um, and honestly that was literally it for this one and um, it was super simple and I actually love how it turned out. Here we have it, 